Hey guys, uh, just wanted to show you my latest experiment here. Uh, I've got some atmospheric electricity that I'm picking up, uh, just basically using my entire garage door as an antenna. I've got a wire hooked in right over there onto the metal and it runs along right here and I've got uh, this connected to ground on the other side here this is the ground and this is going along with uh, this wire here these are going to my uh, bridge rectifier right over here I've got a pair of bridge rectifiers set up and that goes to feed this capacitor which I've taken off the bleed resistor that way it can charge up so I can see what we're getting here. I've left this thing on all day and I have my two meters set up here. I've got one. Uh, this one is just t picking up the AC voltage and it's, the other side's connected to ground here. So that's, that's this guy. That's picking up the AC voltage right now off my garage door. And it's, this is the charge on my capacitor. So that tells me that I need a better rectifier because I'm getting more voltage through there or perhaps at a higher frequency than my voltmeter can pick up. Or, or maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe there's, there's something else that's causing that. But anyhow, I just uh, thought that was interesting that I could pick up that much voltage off of my garage door. And it's, you know, if, if it's open, it's only seven feet off the ground, right? So... You don't really have to have a really high aerial to pick up uh, usable voltage because this right here will charge a battery eventually. I don't know how long it will take. But I am going to do a future experiment charging up one of these little guys probably and see about how long that takes. But I'm, I'm picking up about a volt, uh, a volt of uh, charge on my capacitor about, uh, I forgot, I think it was about 20 minutes. At initially when it started off anyway just wanted to share that with you I thought that might be something that would be easily reproducible for most people uh, the main trick is you don't want to have a grounded garage door and that may or may not be good if you have a lot of lightning in your area but uh, I don't have a steel frame house it's a wood frame so the, the track is not grounded by wood legs it doesn't, it doesn't have steel frame and also it has the rubber seal on the bottom so that insulates it from the concrete and where it's connected to the opener has a plastic piece with a pin there's no actual physical connection from the rail to the uh, the metal bracket here it's it's actually plastic so that keeps it insulated so it, it makes it a good uh, antenna anyway just thought I'd share that with you hopefully uh, maybe some more people can Try, try this out and see if it works good for them.